You're probably wondering why is this video why is this video so long? I have finally decided to give The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild a real shot. Like really sit here and play it for as long as I possibly can for one particular video. And that video is this video. As most of you know, Tears of the Kingdom is going to be releasing soon. And although we've dabbled a very little into this game, we've never really truly given it a chance. And this is my efforts in trying to do so. I have just finished playing this game for four and a half hours. I'm going to start editing it and I don't know where it's going to end up, but it's probably going to be very, very long. I just wanted to do a one off video, give it another try. And if this video does well, I will try my very best to finish the full game before the new one comes out. Because the last Zelda game that I played and finished was Ocarina of Time. And that was that was a very long time ago. There will be no face cam. It is it's literally impossible to do four hours for me with a face cam because it'll just overheat and it'll turn into a complete nightmare. So I really just sat down here and enjoyed the game for what it was. And I had an absolute blast. So I truly hope you enjoy it. I would love to see your feedback down in the comments and uh, sit back, relax, and let's do this. Open your eyes. Okay, I'm opening my eyes. Open your eyes. I see light. <gasps> Wake up, Link. This game is so beautiful in its own right. Such a cool looking game. I've always been a, a fan of these sorts of graphics. So as you know, I've only played a very little amount of this game. From my understanding, this is 100 years after his slumber, or he's been sleeping for 100 years. You guys can feel free to correct me and give me some factual information in the comments if you guys feel like doing so. I don't know exactly after what game this takes place. Is it after Majora's Mask or is it after a completely different game? But here we are. My goodness. So this time around again we are playing it on the Nintendo Switch and hopefully I can use the controller and all of its features properly when I was trying to do this on PC there was just so many bugs that I just I just couldn't do it but anyways um, the controls these are the controls jump action ability controls DLC perfect I guess we gotta walk up to this is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Sweet. I'll go ahead and take that. It actually looks like a switch. <laughs> the Sheikah Slate, a mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. So this is our inventory. Right now we are, we're pretty empty. Yeah, we've got nothing going for ourselves, but hopefully that'll change. Alrighty. Sweet. What do we have here? Now, am I able to open all of them? Well, there's only two, actually. The well-worn trousers. These old trousers are th threadbare in spots, but they're surprisingly comfortable. The legs are a bit too short, though. Okay, we'll go here and uh, go ahead and wear that. That's going to give us a little bit of... Is that considered armor down there? The uh, zero going to the one? Go ahead and equip that. Maybe these uh, belong to someone a bit shorter. Or maybe us, a hundred years ago. A 
thin shirt made long ago. It's coming apart at the seams, but it's better than nothing. The sleeves are a bit on the short side. Maybe this belonged to a young boy or something. Who knows? Yeah, so now we've got two for the... I don't know if that's the armor. We can pick this up. Ooh. It's such a relaxing little game. Sheesh. Go ahead and examine this. Hold the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Okay. Authenticating. The Sheikah slate is confirmed. shine upon high rule once again now go Ooh, that barrel just spawned there i have to say this doesn't look bad at all man like this looks this looks really good so crouching increases your stealth making it easier to sneak up on foes and animals all right so crouching is the left stick can I pick this up? Yes. I can throw it as well. Or drop it. Here we go. Right, so to climb, it's X. I really gotta get used to the controls. It's kind of like opposite to what I'm normally used to. It's almost hard to believe how good this game looks, considering it's from a Nintendo Switch. It's so beautiful. I mean, definitely it could look better, but it just has a very particular magic feel to it. So we are now at the Great Plateau. What do we have here? We've got a stick, a tree branch. Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Okay, so... Use your weapon. <laughs> oh, go ahead and... Okay, so here we go. Changing weapons. So I guess... Okay, I think we're good. Sweet. We got some mushrooms? Hmm... The Hylian, Hylian, Hylian shroom, is that how you call it? A common mushroom found near trees around Hyrule. Eat it to restore half a heart. But we don't need to. We are, we are doing pretty good. I think we're pretty healthy right now. So we're going to go over here. Can I pick up this branch? Yes, I can. So if your stamina wheel runs out, you'll be too tired to do a certain action until that fills back up again. Can I do anything with this rock? There's like a boulder up here. Oh, you can't. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. Does that do anything? Like, will that crush the old man downstairs? Geronimo! Uh oh. That's probably not a good idea. Hmm. I wonder what that did. We've got another tree branch here and possibly some more shrooms. I will take that. Okay, Link, put that away. There is no need for combat right now. Yeah, this stamina is going to drive me insane. Hmm. A baked apple. Direct heat has softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. 
I beg your pardon? I do believe that this is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. <laughs> oh, uh, forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple, an open flame, make a succulent treat. It is a bit strange to see another soul in these parts. Who are you? Hmm? Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where are we? Answering a question with a question, that is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Grey Plateau. According to the legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. This guy is much more important than he's leading on to believe right now. Ooh. The temple there long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Is that the same temple as the one in Ocarina of Time? Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Well, that's a shame. That's a shame, man. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. Can we speak to him? Oh, ho, ho. What are you doing? Hmm. I'm relaxing by the fireside, of course, although I'll need to cook myself another baked apple at some point. Simple foods such as apples are fine to eat raw, but roasting them on a fire makes them tastier and more nutritious. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of service. What a nice old man. So we've got a torch. This torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. So throw a weapon. You can throw a weapon in your hand so we can aim it and throw it. Well then, just help yourself to that torch there. And how may I ask, are you planning to use it? As a weapon, of course, to set things on fire. Um, maybe, I don't, it's a secret. Hmm. I see. Well then, do as you please. There are plenty of monsters ahead here. Remember that you can use that as a weapon if need be. Hmm. However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. I love how he's kind of like teaching me how to fight. Sir, I believe that I am older than you in some capacity. I've been sleeping for 100 years. Actually, he's probably older than me. So the woodcutter's axe, a woodcutter's tool of choice for feeling trees. For felling trees, I'm sorry. It's formidable way and uneven balancing makes it slow and inefficient, inefficient weapon. So that is not going to be a good choice of a weapon. There is uh, some sort of sword over there. I wonder if we can grab that. So I guess now we can go. Right? This is. Can we chop down the tree? Ooh. Huh? Link. Yes. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. Okay. So, check the Sheikah Slate. Access your Sheikah Slate. Follow. Alright, so can we stamp this? We've got a new objective. Perfect. Alright, so let me see. No! Oh no! Wait! 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 Wait a minute! Was that an acorn? An acorn often found on the ground near trees. Squirrels adore these nuts. So, you may have competition while for foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. Alright, hold on. So, can I... Can I go up there? I don't... Dash. How do we dash? Oh, here we go. I'm pretty sure my son Ryan would would have a thing or two to teach me about this game. Okay, I'm gonna relax here for a sec. Maybe we can gather that broken sword. I think we can. Yes. Aha! Uh -huh, the rusty broadsword. 
This once fearsome sword has been... I've seen better days. They can do some damage in the right hand, but also breaks quickly. I wonder if we can just, uh... Just store it for now. Whoa! Link, you ought to be careful there, pal. Ooh, I can... Can I just grab a fish? How do I swim faster? Oh my god, the Hyrule Bass. An ordinary fish that can be found all over Hyrule. They can be eaten raw, but cooking amplifies the healing benefits. Okay, so I've got to be careful because I don't even know what happens if I'm in the water and then my stamina depletes. I might actually just drown. I ought to be careful here. I also ought to be careful with the... You know what? We've got this. Let's get the torch. How do I set it up? Set, set the torch on fire? We've got some enemies here. Gotta be careful. Can I sneak? Yes, I probably should be sneaking. Probably gonna be a little quiet here, guys, because you just, you know, you never know. These guys look dangerous. I'm also very dangerous, but with the right tools. Right now, we do not have the right tools. Hmm. But we have this. Um. <laughs> Ooh. A seared steak. Wow. Talk about the goods. Let me see. Can we find anything hidden back here? I think I'm probably going to be using the axe, even though it's not recommended. Um, it's probably best. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. Please don't hurt me. Hold on. How do I block? Well, I don't have a shield, so... Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Jump out of the way of an attack at the last moment for a perfect dodge. No way. <gasps> oh, that was awesome. He doesn't have a club anymore. I guess I'll be taking that. The Boko Club. A crude Bokoblin, Bokoblin, Bokoblin club <laughs> made clubber a small prey. It is essentially a stick, so its durability is low. Okay, so, hold on, hold on. Have a taste of your own medicine. Go! Come here! Oh, it's relatively quick, so I guess that's pretty good. And we've got a Bokoblin horn. Bokoblin. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. The severed horn um, of a Bokoblin, a creature often encountered on the plains of Hyrule. It is edible, but... It can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. Interesting. Sweet. So okay, no big deal. I think you're doing mighty fine here. I don't want to use a sword that I gathered just because, um... The game did tell me that it is relatively... Relatively weak and can break easily, so I don't want to do all that just yet. Let me see, can I sneak behind him? What happens if I sneak back here? I don't think I'm going to be able to do this properly. I think he's going to turn on me at the last second. And that's not very good. <gasps> no! Go! Okay, well that was a miserable fail. But this club is actually pretty good. I have to say. Huh. Ooh! What is that? <gasps> what in the world is that? A choo-choo jelly. A gel gelatinous, gelatinous substance that came from a choo-choo. It is unusable in this state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. All right. So this one's... Hmm. This one's better than mine. You cannot carry the melee weapon. Okay, so what if I grab this and... I... <laughs> Okay, I guess this one's stronger than the one that I had, right? Well, anyways, we've got a chest here. Ooh. Trousers. Traditional dress trousers of Hyrule. The pulse fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable. And their high durability makes them ideal for travelers. So I think these were actually better than the ones that I had. Are we really already getting... Wow, look at us getting all sorts of cool inventory. Already getting set up. Major improvements, I see. I think I'm going to follow the road of least resistance. As soon as my stamina comes back. Can I grab these apples off the tree like this? 
Yes, I can. See, my son Ryan would be really proud of me right now. I'm playing this game. We're doing well. Oh, this is not good. Oh, that's a... What is that? I thought that was a squirrel. It was a lizard. Um, hold on. Hold up. Sweet. Alright, those guys are pretty easy to... Take care of. What is this? A green... A Hyrule herb. This healthy herb grows abundantly in the plains of Hyrule. Cook it before eating to increase the number of hearts it restores. Okay. Absolutely. So, I guess this wouldn't be a bad idea right now. Sorry, guys! You snooze, you lose! Oh, that was great. Ooh, four items. Can't carry any more of these. Alright, so where is the, uh... Where's that thing I wanted to do? It was over here. Pretty sure it was over here. Yep. These guys look like they're having a little bit of fun. A little too much fun, perhaps. I'm gonna go here and I'm going to ruin their party. As I am Link. I've been in my slumber for a hundred years. But not anymore. Oh my gosh. They actually Oh <laughs> That actually worked. They were pretty far away. I didn't think that was gonna work, but Check this out, guys. They have a really, really fat big steak here. That's going to be very, very helpful. Plenty of protein there. We are going to be eating good tonight. We are going to be doing just fine. I'm not even worried anymore. Anyways, we should be heading over to the objective. I think one of these guys had a bow. So I believe I should probably take them out because... That's practically one of the only things we're missing. One of the essential tools for Link that we're missing. Alongside, of course, with our handy dandy shield. What? I guess beggars can't be choosers. Oh, go, hold on. P pause that for a second. This guy hit me. Perfect. How dare you. There we go. The Boko Bow. A basic... Bokoblin bow made of wood. It's made by uh, taking any tree branch and just trying a string or tying a string, I'm sorry, to either end. So do not expect much in the way of combat effectiveness. So draw the bow and release to fire. Okay, so the bow is technically... Okay, we've got some arrows. So technically the bow... Wow, right in the face. Hit an enemy's head with an arrow to perform a critical attack. Hmm... A tooth obtained from a bokoblin. It's worn down and not very sharp, but it's still pretty hard. Cook it alongside a critter to make an elixir. We've got a different sword here. And we've got a shield, a bogo shield, made uh, created by attaching a hand hold to any flat tree bark picked up off the ground. It's pretty uh, shoddy, so don't expect it to last very long. Shoddy, 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 shoddy. Okay, so block... Here we've got a traveler's sword, a very common sword often kept by travelers to fend off small beasts. It's fairly durable, but a bit unreliable against monsters. Alright, so we most definitely are going to go ahead and... Oh, I see what's going on. So depending on the attack that we have, we can kind of swap. Okay, that's making sense. Maybe I can throw this branch out. Don't need that. I will take the sword. I'm assuming eventually in, in the future we'll be able to upgrade our inventory space and whatnot. Hmm. Smooth. Alright, that's the stick. We've got some arrows here. Oh, you can reuse your arrows, it seems like. I think we are in the right place. Yes. Place the Shiga Slate in the pedestal. The Shiga Tower has been activated. 
Please watch Falling Rocks. Uh oh. all that just made me go to sleep for a little bit I'm feeling very well rested welcome to the Great Plateau Tower yeah those are all just different towers not to be confused I guess with the shrines the stilling location information Alright, so we've got one part of the map. The regional map has been extracted. So these are going to serve us as map unlockers. And I'm not sure at the moment, but possibly fast travel points. Is that a thing? I've played very little of this game. And I don't remember much of it. Try. Try to remember. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. regains its true power, this world will face its end. Now then, you must hurry, Link. Before it's too late. What are you talking about? You've been waiting for 100 years, have you not? What's another five years can do to you? Follow the Sheikah Slate has been completed. Man, so cool. Look at this view up here. So incredible. Can I jump without possibly falling off and failing miserably? Wow. So incredible. What a pretty game. Okay, so now we've got to figure out What does this do? Yep, just working out. That's all. Now we just gotta go down, correct? Yes. Alright, we will go down. We can let go or we can jump. Nope. No, no, no! Oh my god, Link. How could you do that to me? Are you insane? Okay, we're fine. Not too bad. I'm sure the other towers are going to be much more difficult than this oh! one. Oh. He's got a glider! <laughs> my, my. It would seem we have quite the enigma here. The tower and the others, just like it, have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, that anything ought occur while you were atop the tower? I heard a voice. Hmm. Well, a voice, you say. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? I say... I'm just going to do this. I would say no, but I'm pretty sure that's Zelda. I could be wrong. Hmm. It seems I have some work to do as far as earning your trust goes. I suppose that is understandable. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle. Hmm. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, the vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost. 
in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom Hyrule Castle has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There is Festers building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Well, that can be good. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Here, on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Mm. Of course, if you've had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over. Paraglider? Not going to be too bossy here. Oh, ho. Piqued your interest, have I? Yes, I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Mm. Worry not. I will be happily, or I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Mm. Let's see now. Hmm. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? The Isolated Plateau. Open the adventure log. The Isolated Plateau. Okay. After, you after your descent from the tower, the old man told you that the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed 100 years ago by Calamity Ganon. You heard a voice coming from Hyrule Castle, but you cannot reach it unless you have, or unless you leave, the plateau using the paraglider. The old man said that he will give you the paraglider in exchange for the treasure that lies within a hidden location somewhere. Okay. Hmm. Come. Let me show you something. You see the structure over there, the one shining with a strange light. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. So those are the shrines, correct? <laughs> I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider, a fair exchange, I believe. Okay, okay, fine. We will get to it. So now we have to figure out how to get there. We can go left, completely left, or we can get a little bit of action going and get these guys out of here. I'm going to pull out my handy dandy. Excuse me. Right in the head. A perfect, flawless blow. This is not good. We've got another bow here. But that's okay. Come on. Woo! Let's go. Mm. Okay, hold on. We can totally do this. Perfect. Oh, so that unlocks once you take these guys out, you unlock the chest. Okay, that's fair enough. I think that's... I think that's fair. Quite the reward. For being a courageous young man, I, I suppose. We've got another shield. Or is it the same thing? Hmm. It's the same thing. I just think it's... It could either be better as far as uh, stats go... Or perhaps just a different rarity. Let me get this axe. Maybe uh, I can break the barrel here. Get something out of it. Absolutely not. That was a waste of time. Go ahead and open this up. A traveler's sword. A very common sword. Okay, that's exactly like the one that we have. Unfortunately, the uh, inventory is kind of full. So I'll grab these sticks and... <laughs> Throw them away. Go ahead and grab this. Wait, did that... Did that just change? The stats? Interesting. 
Hmm, we kind of could swim over there, but... Do I really want to? You know what, let's play it safe. Wasn't there like a... A thing that you can whistle and... Wasn't that a thing? I think you guys told me that one day. You can... Yeah, there we go. You can kind of whistle and run for unlimited sprinting. I love how they never took these little things out, you know? And it's kind of like, after watching Tears of the Kingdom, it's kind of like they embrace that in a way. I find it very cool. The Oman Au Shrine. Okay, we're here. Let's go ahead and put the Sheikah Slate here. The travel gate registered onto the map. And the access has been granted. Okay. Well, here we go. Alright, we are here. We have arrived. To who, or to you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Omanau. Sorry, but I couldn't read all that. The Magnesis trial. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Hmm. Got to put the slate here. Distilling the rune. Magnesis or magnesis 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 yeah manipulate metallic objects using magnet magnetism grab onto the metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the magnesis rune objects held in the magnetic sna uh, snare can be lifted up and moved freely all right that sounds like it's gonna be helpful of course and we're gonna need that to complete this shrine i think i've only completed two shrines in this entire game and that was a long time ago so use a selected rune from the sheikah slate oh well there you go so you can activate this Ooh, what's down below i honestly do not remember okay now i do i think we've got a uh oh uh-oh, swim, swim, swim. We've got a lazy river here, guys. All right, I'm going to grab this and just kind of <laughs> push that to the side like that. And uh, what's down below? Anything there? Yeah. Interesting. What do we have here? I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And possibly we can pull it. We can push it. Don't you look at that. I've really gotta get used to these controls. Oh god! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, that is not fair. I was not prepared. Right, it's gonna blow. Wow, that scared me. Like, really scared me. The ancient spring, a spring used in ancient machinery. It is light and buoyant, enough to float on water. And no matter how many times it's compressed, it never loses tension. So what can we use that for? Interesting. Very very interesting I think we've got to grab this here that's right and place it right there 
so weak. Go ahead and grab this chest. Do not mind if I do. Excellent. The Traveler's Bow. A small bow used by travelers for protection. Good. So maybe that means I can probably throw... Hold on. Throw one of these away. These are getting a little... What? Oh, actually, you know what? I don't need to because I think we're doing pretty good. Wow, we can even open up those doors. Well, this was a relatively simple shrine. I don't know if I missed anything, but I have to say I'm quite proud. My friends, we have done it. All right. Proven to, uh, to possesses the resolve of a true hero. I am Oman O, the creator of this trial. I'm a humble monk, blessed with the sight of goddess Helia, and dedicated to helping those who I cannot read. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of the goddess Helia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Sorry again if I mispronounce some of these names. Please accept this spirit orb. Wow. Mm, I suddenly feel different. A symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. So I guess once you complete every shrine, it just kind of restores your hearts and health and whatnot. Okay. The Great Whoa. Plateau. Well, he's back, guys. With the paraglider. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. Yeah, how did you know that? Hmm. <laughs> Clairvoyance. Did I say that right? Oh ho! Or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. Okay, however that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. But perhaps that is not true for everyone. Oh ho ho! The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine... Well, it is all connected to that Sheikah Slate. You carry on your hip. Hmm. It is quite, it's, it's been quite some time since I've seen that Sheikah Slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved the, 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 kingdom, the kingdom time and time again. And apparently, I cannot read it. It's pretty late here, okay? But their ancient technology disappeared long ago. Or so it is said. It is interesting. However, to think, well, something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you my power. You lied to me! That wasn't the deal? <gasps> oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you, now will it? Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way up to the top of the tower again? Got it. I admire your eagerness, but also allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah Slate, please. Okay, I'm here. Hmm. You see those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. Yes, I do, actually. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Cool, so those are fast travel points. Excellent. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually still works as such. Well, I am pretty sure I can just fast travel there, right? 
But before we do, I mean, it's not even that far, man. Come on. Do I look lazy to you? Come on. Give me a break. Look at this. I saw that chest from a mile away. And we've got a fossilized resin with a caramelesque sheen to it. It is an amber. It has been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. What else is down there? Another chest? Hold on. I did not think that was another chest. That might be a little bit too far. Perhaps let's get a little bit closer here. Uh-huh. An opal, a valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing ins uh, iridescent iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. Iridescence. Iridescence? Iridescence. I, I don't know. What can I use this for? Whoa. Is that... Oh, that's just one of those little... Okay. Well, I can grab these because they're... I believe metallic or something like that what's over here oh those are chests there are two more chests here actually there's a whole bunch my gosh i have a feeling i cannot go there all right so it seems like once we get these things uh with like the magnet ability we cannot sprint or else we will we will drop it so i think this is actually gonna work might be a little bit too far but again i'm, I'm gonna be optimistic it worked it actually worked an ice arrow a bundle of five ice arrows which break apart on impact freezing objects in an immediate area incredibly effective against hot things so you can draw the bow press and hold the d-pad and uh switch so wow that is awesome more ice arrows please fire arrow that is so cool mm-hmm well, you certainly took your time. Did you forget how to travel instantly? No, I remember. Now then, hmm. I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know about the scope on your Sheikah Slate? I did not. Look through it, and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark it on the map. Okay, so to use the scope, you got to press the right D-pad, or the right joystick, excuse me, and place a pin. The pins on your map serve as reference points for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. Okay, so I'm going to stand right here. And I would... Let me see. I would like to say... That that over there might be interesting. There is... Over there, you can pin that, and you can only do five pins, it seems like. Okay, we've got that. We know where the castle is. I think those are also, hmm, those are not part of this area. I think that's actually beyond this area, but maybe some more over here. Uh-huh. Yeah, possibly. Possibly that one there. Yep. That's two. And there's possibly that over there as well. Cool. We've got a castle that's waiting for us to search it. And we've got a couple of bats. I didn't want to use that. That is overkill. <laughs> Perhaps a bit too much power for the key's wing. The wing of a keys. It's covered with very 
short, sharp fur. It is not much used by itself, but if you mix it with critters to make something useful. Okay, well, thanks, I guess. Probably shouldn't have used that. Yeah, let's... Let's put away the fire arrows for now. Yeah, it's true what they said. These arms are relatively weak. Wow. Much weaker than I thought. Wait. Grab that. And throw it. Sweet. Got some arrows. Like that. <laughs> oh my god. We've got an arrow. I think it's best if we just... Yeah, that's probably just faster. I don't think I have patience to be grabbing these things and just throwing them one by one. And we've got another traveler bow. That's good news. Okay, let's see. Do we have anything here? Anything of interest? Not yet. Let me see. There's nothing in the castle. Oh, it's almost daytime already. Well, that's good. Do we have enough stamina to go up here? <gasps> Alright, perfect. So you gotta actually restore your stamina if you just kind of climb it normally. And then just use the jump to get ahead a bit. That works. I'm just gonna kind of stroll back here. See if I find something. I think up here we get a cutscene. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's later on. I don't remember. But there is a chest here. So I will be taking that. Thank you very much. <gasps> a soldier's bow. Designed for armed conflict. Inflicts more damage than a civilian bow, but it will still burn. No. My inventory is not full. I can promise you it is not full. I will grab the branch and I will throw it away. Because I am really, really looking forward to that. That's right, the soldier's bow. I definitely don't want to drop down there. And it seems like I was wrong. There is no cuts in here. At least not yet. So. We're gonna be good and we're gonna go! Okay. Fine. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the path of least resistance as per usual. Actually, this is not the path of least resistance. There's actually a whole lot going on here. There are some really bad, ugly guys, as you can see down below. <gasps> I should probably go there and kick some butt, huh? What do you guys think? You think we're down? Are you guys down for the brown? I don't even think I can... Oh, God. Link, don't fall. Whatever you do... <gasps> Whoa, close call. All right, tell you what, I'm not here for peace. I'm here for destruction. You were not supposed to do that. They're all coming out now. say that was really wait get up there that was extremely cool what does this have a fi more fire arrows i wonder if that's totally random or if that's based based on what sort of arrow i use to kill him 
A spiked vocal club, a reinforced club made to maximize damage. Sweet, man. This is awesome. We're really, really going places right now. I'm honestly going to get this arm. I'm throwing that away. I'm sorry. Nobody cares for that anymore, okay? I'm going to keep this in here. Actually, I'm going to keep the warrior traveler sword just in case. And uh, let's keep going. We are going to keep going. I can't believe that worked. That was so cool. That was so... I don't know. So perfect. I also like how when you take these guys out, they don't respawn. I mean, so far, that seems to be the case. I don't think... The, the enemies that I've taken out have actually respawned on me. Which is a big, big deal. Makes me feel safe. And we definitely need to get out there. We're like in this little deserted island so far. And it's just, uh, it's not enough. Okay? My optimism goes far beyond these lands. Uh-oh. Well, that can be good. What? Okay, how do we how do we get rid of this? I know for a fact it's gonna be impossible to destroy that thing. We're way, way too weak at the moment. So the best The best way to handle this is by sneaking around and kind of just avoiding it right now. Oh and grabbing the chest, of course. That's also very important. Come on, give me something. Better shield, better... Ah, amber. Pfft. Nobody wants amber right now. Yeah, we've got to get to the shrine. Ooh, an ancient screw. Which was used in machinery. It's made of an unknown material. And no matter how many times it's turned, its thread never seems to get any sign of wear. Well, that's... Whoa, whoa, guys, guys, please. What do they call those things? Was it the guardians? Guardians, was it? I think so. Link, please be careful. I need you to be quiet, Link. Wow, how am I supposed to get to the shrine? Nice and easy. Here we go. That work? That did not work. <laughs> Ugh. Come on, climb! Climb! Ooh. We made it. I'm sure there's probably an easier way, but you know what? That doesn't even matter anymore. We're here. Nothing behind the shrine, just just, just checking, just in case. Here we go. Alright, so shrine number two. Perfect. All right, so to who sets foot in the shrine? I am Jab Jabaij. In the name of the goddess Haley, I offer this trial. Okay, I'm gonna put the Sheikah Slate here. So we're going to have four core abilities, it seems. First one being magnetism. This one's going to be 
<laughs> the remote bomb, a bomb that can be detonated remotely. The force of the blast can be used to damage monsters or destroy objects. There are both round and cube bombs, so use whichever best fits the situation. The bomb. Okay, cool. So change the runes. I know we've got the runes here. So this one might actually... Right? Well, that was awesome. Okay, let's see here. We've got right, we've got left. We're gonna grab this. Is this a chest? Oh my god. That is awesome. A traveler's claymore. A basic two-handed sword often wielded by asp aspiring adventurers. Its immense way can knock enemy shields right off their hands. Well, that's gonna be useful. Yep. Oh, that almost hit me. <gasps> A little bit too close for comfort, if I do say so myself. Oh, gosh. Link, what are you doing? <gasps> drop. Okay, I'm just gonna drop that right there. And uh, detonate it. Sweet. Alright, good. Now we're thinking outside the box. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. I remember this part, Ryan, was uh, a long time ago, my son, when he got this game. He was like, Dad, I need help. And obviously, since I wasn't really up to speed with things, I, I had no idea. And I felt bad because I didn't know how to help him. So let's see if we can figure this out. He's been past this part already. He's a big boy. But... I'd like to see... <gasps> Oh, I can pick that up. Alright, what do we have here? Yes, I, I know for a fact some of these shrines are pretty crazy. Um, so I think we're going to grab this. Maybe. I think not even with the... I think it's just with our hands, right? Yeah, perhaps just with our hands. Gonna bring this over here. We're gonna detonate it once it goes to the other side, I think. I I don't know. Let me see. See what's happening. Wait, what? Wait a minute. I gotta put one of my own. Seriously? <laughs> okay. Good. Another bomb here. Woo Blow that up. All right, cool. I still feel, although we could finish the shrine already as is, I feel like, uh, woohoo! It's the only way to get that thing there. That actually hurt me. The first one didn't. Well, that's no fair. Okay, I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to present this. Now, I have done this shrine a long time ago. I think this was the last shrine I actually did. I don't remember. Um, oh, we have to put this here. Is that what it was? Hello? Oh, God. Hmm. 
Let's see, I might be wrong. Your resourcefulness is overcoming this trial speaks the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Halia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Another spirit orb. Well, that's two down, two more to go. Well, now that we've got bombs, we can afford to get crazy with it. Wait, no. Link, how dare you? How could you do this to me? You are embarrassing me. Perfect. I wonder if I can go back into the shrine and... Huh. What happens if I throw this... That does absolutely nothing. I will literally be here for weeks. I will be here. <gasps> oh my god. Are we okay? Please tell me we're in good terms. Please. Oh gosh, that was that was pretty crazy. Perhaps a little too crazy. Let me get rid of this. This is becoming a dangerous dangerous game we're playing here. I'm gonna go back up. I'm just happy we're done with the shrine. Okay, so we've done two. Now we've gotta go to that one all the way over there. Which is actually not that far off. What is that X? Is that where... We, oh, that's probably... That's the X that tells us, Hey, this is where you died last time. Because you are terrible at this game. Hiya! <laughs> uh. Oh, this guy's big. This guy's pretty big. But not big enough. Wow, that is such a cool move. Here, take this! Maybe a little bit too much! Sorry about that! Truly. Truly sorry. Well, not not really. I've actually uh, I've been wanting to do that for a while now. But we've got the cursor bee honey. Honey straight from the hive is chock full of nutrients. Cooking this into a meal unlocks the potential of these nutrients and provides a stamina recovery effect. So, cooking honey. Cooked honey. Honey cooking. Honey the cook. Cook of the honey. Alright. Um. Enough of that. Is that a shed over there? What is that? Ooh. Hold on. And we've got a green mushroom here too. Stamella shroom. A green mushroom that grows near trees in the forest. It's chock full of natural energy. Could get you really stamina restoration properties. Okay. Go ahead and grab this one. I'll grab this one. Ooh, what is that? No. Oh my god, I just killed a pigeon. I'm so sorry. Robert Drumstick. Tougher and uh, and chewier than a standard steak. Tastes better cooked. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so somewhere or another we can get to the other side. Maybe. Actually, oh, there's a lot going on over there. Ooh, an apple. Maybe I ought to eat this apple right now. Hold on, sorry. Wrong, wrong button. Wrong button. Let's go ahead and eat the apple. That's right. Ooh, that tastes really good. I'm also going to save because that also tastes good. All right, let's go to this. Oh, there's the old man. Well, how you doing, sir? You'd be really happy to know I just gathered another spirit orb. Oh, ho, ho. And what is this? A pot lid. The lid of a large soup pot. It smells vaguely of uh, poetry broth. Yum. 
It can take quite a beating before breaking. So we can use that as a shield? Huh. And a torch. Let's talk to the old man. Oh ho! Fancy that. So, we meet again. Uh, what are you doing? This body of mine isn't what it used to be. Recovering from a bout of hard work takes a while. If you're hungry, I have an empty pot you can use to cook yourself a meal. Got any tips? Simply open your inventory, grab hold of your ingredients, and toss them in. Try to consider how these ingredients will complement one another. You can even make a dish that increases your stamina. It's all about being creative and trying different things. Oh, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. The thing is... Morning. Let's do morning. It's getting a little late here. The thing is that, um... To increase stamina, is that like... For my current stamina, or does that make my stamina overall better? A spicy pepper. This pepper is exploding with spice. Cook it with uh, with it to create dishes that raise your body temperature and help you withstand the cold. The Old Man's Diary. On this desolated plateau, the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. As today, um, I outdid myself. Truly, I created the perfect dish. I call it spicy meat and seafood fry. This recipe not only restores health, but it also keeps me warm even when traveling in the snow mountains. With this dish on my side, I no longer have need for that itchy, warm play. I do not know how I allowed this to happen, but it seems I forgot to write down a very important recipe. I know it contained raw meat and spicy pepper. However, I simply cannot remember what else I used. My age is catching up to me. Sally, on this lonely plateau, I have only my own knowledge and memory to rely on. Still, if I did find something who knew or someone who knew the missing ingredients, I would happily reward them with my warm brulee. However, it seems unlikely that such a miraculous wish will ever be fulfilled. Well, it included raw meat and spicy pepper. Mm. That sounds actually quite delicious. I love peppers. I love spice. I mean, I eat my eggs in the morning with spice. With, like, hot sauce. Believe it or not, it's it's the truth. Okay, don't, don't just, don't judge me. Please leave me alone. It's not very nice to judge. I like spicy food, man. Ooh. Well, this place is pretty stacked. Can I use it to break this? Pick this up? Whoa! Oh, we've got a pitchfork. Farmer's pitchfork. Collected, uh... To collect hay efficiently. It's light enough to be used as anyone to be four pro... Okay. Um, I can't carry any more weapons. We're gonna have to drop some of these, like, older... Maybe this one's kind of worn out. Oh, no! Well, that sucks. Hey yeah. How's your shrine exploration going? What are you doing? I thought this tree here might make for some good firewood. However, getting a tree to fall exactly where you want it is quite an art. The trick is to turn your hips so that the face... So that they face where you want the tree to land. Mm -hmm. So, I see you found my axe. Why not help me out and give this thing a few swings? I'm working up quite a sweat here, but these bonuses... Or these, bo these, bo these bones could use a break. Okay, so we've got his axe. We're gonna go here. And, uh... Like that? Uh huh. Sweet. Oh. oh, wood. A portable bundle of wood. You can use this to make a campfire. Oh, that's amazing. That is awesome. Oh, gosh. And then we can use this to save in areas, right? That is so cool. This game just has so much to offer. Hey, dude, I got the I got the wood you wanted. Oh, whoa, I see you did my work for me. Wonderful. Go ahead and take some of the wood for yourself. Don't be shy now. Okay, well, thanks. Okay, I guess that's it for us here. I'm just going to pretend like I'm still excited about that. Yep. 
Sorry, boys. But today doesn't seem like your lucky day. He's throwing a rock at me because he lost his bow. That is awesome. Sorry about that, guys. Truly, really sorry about that. Destroy this. Cool. Seems like we've got uh, some mushrooms, more honey, and most importantly, a good old chest. With a bomb arrow, a bundle of five bomb arrows that explode. Packed into the tips, or explosive powder into the tips of these arrows. Ignite on impact, dealing big damage to anything caught in its blast. Okay, how about we, uh... Oh no. Can I just... Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I mean, quite literally, that's what we are. What is this? Different types of mushrooms. Purple mushroom? The Rushroom. A mushroom that can grow almost anywhere, but prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating it to temporarily increase your movement speed. Hey, guys. Uh, it's a little bomb going around here. It might be a little explosive. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, okay, this is not good. Whoa! Hold on, time out. Up, oh, yep, time out. Very much time out. This is not good. I just want some food! <laughs> That's all I was asking for. Food! Oh, there's still one left. Oh, he's got a fire stick! Are you crazy? The Boko Spear. Wow, that's a, that's a big weapon. That's a big deal. That is a very, very dangerous weapon. I mean, it's better than the pitchfork. Oh, it's not. So never mind. Ooh, a seared steak. What do we got here? Ooh, more steak. Very nice. More peppers. Oh. Hold on. There we go. Sweet. I don't know what I just made, but a pepper seafood. <laughs> wow, that actually looks uh, pretty delicious. Check a meal's ingredients by selecting it from the inventory and then selecting the recipe. <sighs> Dubious food. It's too gross to even look at. Bizarre smell. Oh god, that sucks. Um, okay. Go ahead and grab an herb. And then I'll grab... Some peppers. Let's try that. Very, uh, very healthy life. Nice! Steamed mushrooms. All right, so we've taken a nap, and now it's a brand new day. It's 5.15 in the morning as we head into our next shrine. Now, if I take a look at the map here, we're headed to the red pin, which is going to be, from my understanding, the closest shrine right now. I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of these spicy peppers, and here we go. So the temperature is getting dangerously low. Find warmth soon, or you'll take damage. All right, so I think we can light this up, right? Uh, yeah, it's getting very, very cold. So how do we get there? Oh, God. 
I am not a fan of this. This is not good. Come on, Link. We can do it. <gasps> oh, gosh. There's enemies there. Are you kidding me? Uh-oh. So does fighting actually boost up my warmth? I mean, that would be nice. Ooh, they've got a campfire. Sweet. Hold on. Time out, guys. Time. Time out. Let me eat an apple. Or whatever that's worth. Oh, God. I gotta get rid of these guys. He's got a shield. It's not good. My shield is badly damaged. Okay, we've got one more. Perfection. Oh. Any attack that causes your weapon to break becomes... Can I read that? Anyways, we're by the fire now. We should be getting a little warm here. Alright, what do we have? We've got some arrows. We've got another club. And we've got a chest. Perfect. We've got five more regular arrows. Come on, guys. What are you doing? I think we're good. I was gonna say, I don't want to use all the arrows because once I run out of fire arrows, I think we're gonna be stuck. Unless maybe. Hmm. Hold on. Let's see here. I can grab this. Actually, no. We're gonna go to our inventory. Go ahead and drop this. But on the bright side, we have found the next shrine. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and place the Sheikah Slate. Alright, we've made it to the next shrine. We are officially inside. Oh my, what is this? To who sets foot in this shrine, I am Uodaim. In the name of the goddess, I offer this trial. Okay, the stasis trial. Let's put the Sheikah Slate here. Okay, it's been authenticated. I wonder what ability we're gonna get here. Stasis. Of course, it's the stasis. Stop the flow of time for an object. So stops an object in time while storing its kinetic energy. The stored energy will act upon the object when the flow of time resumes. Making good use of stored energy can move even the largest of objects. Interesting. Well, I guess let's figure out how this works. Um, oh, God. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's timed. <gasps> Seriously? Oh, that's good to know. Oh my god, I remember Ryan was doing this once upon a time a long time ago. And he was kind of stuck on this one. He was very little. And obviously I had nothing to do with this game. So I had no idea what he was talking about. And I felt terrible because I couldn't help him out. Okay, anyways. Let's see. Ooh. Can I make it? Nice. The Traveler Shield. I think this is actually the first time we've gotten a decent shield. A sturdy shield, loved by many 
adventurers. It is made of animal hide and sturdy wood. And it is best suited to defend against weak monsters or animals. Sweet. Wait, what? My inventory is full. Okay, well, hold on. That's that's not good for business. I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm gonna remove this. And perfect. Sweet. So we have it equipped. Nice. And the gear in this game is so cool. And this is only the beginning, so I can only imagine. I mean, I've seen pictures and clips online of like what certain areas have to offer, but I haven't seen it all. The iron sledgehammer. This large iron sledgehammer was originally used for mining, but it works reasonably well as a weapon too. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if there's a faster way. And there probably is to get rid of some of these weapons. So I have a... I could use the torch actually, now that I think about it, for the cold area. No idea why I didn't think about that earlier, but definitely we'll think about that on the way back. Yes. Ooh. Oh my god, this is so cool. So what happens? Hold on. Uh oh. Oh! Ah! Link, relax! Oh! No way. Oh, that's what they were talking about. Oh, that is so cool. So you freeze it, then you hit it, and the object moves through the kinetic energy. That is so awesome. Your resourcefulness is overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. All right, so this is what the third orb, and there was four shrines in total before we get the paraglider. I think so, right? Perfect. We've got three. May the goddess smile upon you. I can stop the time. <laughs> See what happens. Oh, nice. That is so cool, man. Another bow, which our inventory is full. But that's okay because we're going to actually get rid of one of the ones that we don't need. Like the Boko bow. That is absolute garbage. Go ahead and drop that. This is actually exceptional. What do we have up here? Hmm, we've got two rocks. I'm kind of debating whether I should... Oh, if I would have snuck behind them, I could have used those rocks towards my advantage. I kind of do wish we could run, but I understand why we shouldn't. Uh-oh. <gasps> uh oh Uh-oh. 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 Okay, hold on. Please don't hurt me. Don't hurt me! Oh, he's on fire! He's on fire! <laughs> he's on fire! No, you broke my torch! Well... Oh, hold on, I just took his weapon. Away! Sweet, okay, this is really good. So it is confirmed we can grab these clubs and set them on fire that's definitely gonna help he was guarding this majestic chest of sorts 
And we've got amber. And now my torch is gone. Come on, come on. It's getting a little cold. I'm not liking this. I am not liking this at all. Oh, and it's gonna it's gonna get even colder because it's becoming nighttime. Oh god. Come on, the sun is hitting me. Hold on. I really I I, I really cannot. Here we go. I just can't risk dying up here. So I'm gonna keep going. We've got a silent shroom, a strange mushroom that glows softly in the forest at night. Cooking it into a dish unlocks the nutrients in its cap, resulting in a meal that will allow you to move stealthily. Ooh, that's pretty cool. All right, that is the last and final shrine. I'm gonna go and go over there instead. As I feel that maybe that might be beneficial. Maybe we can unlock something to heat us up or something. I don't I don't know. I'm just being overly optimistic here. But we are approaching the last and final shrine. At least right now. There's a bunch more. That we yet do not have access to. And I see also a group of thugs on a campfire. This is good stuff. I think this is the perfect time to try out my new handy dandy explosive bear, uh, explosive arrow. Hold on. So we're gonna go ahead here and nope. There we go. You guys ready for this? Oh my god! Here goes nothing. <gasps> what? You weren't expecting that, huh? <laughs> oh my god, that is awesome. Hold on, let me just eat something just in case. Oh my goodness, that is incredible. That is so incredible. Let me go ahead and eat this. Man, how cool. And light this up. Sweet. I like that you could do that. You can light up your weapons. Can you do that with like a regular sword? Probably not, huh? Like, I already get this pitchfork and that makes sense. It's not really wood. So okay. But you know what? This is this is more than enough for me right now. This is actually pretty incredible. Hmm, we've got some water here. Oh, I have a feeling the next the next trial or shrine is gonna be water related. Hmm, maybe we can freeze water or oh, I guess enough talking, let's find out. Here we go. Here it is. The last and final shrine. To who set foot in the shrine? I offer this trial. I feel like they all have the same text, so. The Cryonis. Cryonis? Cryonis trial? Alright, let's let's place the Sheikah Slate here. And let's see what this has in stores for us. This is gonna be interesting. Sheikah Slate authenticated. Let's see what sort of ability we get now. We do have an extra slot, which is kind of interesting. I wonder how many of these abilities we get and we, if we can kind of alternate the slots. I want to say there's probably more than five. Hmm, create a pillar of ice from a water surface. 
So this builds an ice pillar that are very stable. These pillars can be used as stepping stones or as obstacles using cryonis. Cryo cryo cryonis on an ice pillar to break it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. I've seen this. Yes. Ooh, that's pretty cool. And of course, we can climb it. Because Link has got the death grip. Alright, sweet. Let me see, what do we have here? That is cool, dude. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. Hold on, I don't I don't even want to try. Um Oh nice <laughs> Let's go. Probably a little bit, just a little bit over the top with that one. And there is a chest right here. Seems like you can place it right below you as well, which is super helpful. I also remember Ryan showing me this shrine. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to help him because, again, I wasn't... I had no idea where he was at, what he's done, what he hasn't done. I was just lost. But now... I remember this part, I think. Yeah. This is so crazy. I gotta show him this. Let me know. Do you guys think I should bring him on for a couple of these episodes? He's still struggling with the game. You know, he plays it now and then. He's, he's more into, like, Minecraft and stuff. But I think it'd be really cool to have him here for an episode. My little buddy playing with me here. Okay, what do we have there? You know what? Let me let me see before I open that up. I think that's it, right? Seems like these four shrines are kind of basic. And I'm totally okay with that. Just give me the last and final orb so I can finally get that paraglider that I've been searching for. Finally. From here on out. I have no idea what's going to happen. May the goddess smile upon you. Those things are kind of creepy. With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. <laughs> oh ho ho, extraordinary. <laughs> that means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you Everything, but first. Hmm. Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines as the endpoint. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Okay, so I have the I have done this. Man, I forgot. I didn't know we did all the other shrines last time. Do you understand where two lines meet? I do remember. Because now we got to meet him at the church, right? Yeah, and then that was everything that I did. That was the last thing that I did. For a fact. Huh. No! Take this, <laughs> just in case. <whistles> kind 
of slippery here. Nice. Perfect. Alright, so what I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to fast travel, but... I want to make sure there's... Hmm. Oh, what? What is... Oh! Oh! Stop it! Hey, stop! Let me let me eat something. This is not this is not good. Hold up. Is it gone? Good. Demon, stay away from me. I believe. This is where we're supposed to be headed. I don't know why I felt like I got the cutscene from the old man much earlier. But I guess it was after finishing all the shrines, I guess. It's been so long, guys, and I've, I've, we just played so many games here that some of these things are easy to miss. Yep, there it is. Go ahead and pray. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their orbs, I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed the four spirit orbs. In exchange for the four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me, what is it? That you desire. Ooh. Heart container. The stamina vessel. Oh, so that increases your health. <gasps> really? I should grant you the power you see. Oh, so that's what the spirit orbs are for. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Your life force has been strengthened, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Nice. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Oh! 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 <laughs> the blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Hmm. Here I am. Get up here, quickly. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. Alright, let's go up here. Oh, that's not good. Come on, Link. We can do this. Come on, bud. Let's go up there. Ugh. Get up there. Yeah, this is literally the last thing that we did. I, I remember now. I did, I did not know we completed the four shrines. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. Mm. The last king of Hyrule. That's awesome. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. 
To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, mm. an army of mechanical soldiers who That's right. autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. Is that us? It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. Mm. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. That's so cool. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Right, he possessed all of the uh, guardians and stuff. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the guardians and the divine beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. What a beautiful story, man. That princess was my own daughter, mm -hmm. my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That's me, man. What are you talking about? That knight was none other than you, Link. Yes, that's right. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening <laughs> are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, 
as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. Really? I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kokoriko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shiga slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. What a crazy adventure. Hmm. Go on. Here is the paraglider that I promised. Why, thank you, old man. It's about time. An item that you received from the king on the Great Plateau. It allows you to sail through the sky. Press X while you are in the air to use it. So I guess just jump in, in the air and then you'll be able to pull it out. The isolated plateau. Mission complete. With that, you should be able to safely fly across the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. <laughs> I've told you everything that I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Destroy Ganon. <laughs> we are not destroying anyone. Okay, we are going to be seeking out Impa. But definitely not Ganon. I know I've heard from multiple of my friends that you can go directly there. Just try to defeat him, but that would be foolish. So this is where we're headed. This is actually heading. Yeah, that's the Twin Peaks. There's also another tower over there, which we can probably. We can probably pin that. Yeah, that's about right. And then we've got another tower there. Let's see, we've got that tower. Hmm. And then we've got Ganon over there. Which I don't think I want to do all that. I'm not in no rush. Anyways, here goes nothing. Let's take a look at the... Let's take a look at the uh, adventure log. So press A to activate the quest. Alright, so destroy Ganon. That's going to be the main thing at the end. And so... It says you've, uh, you were tasked uh, with going to the Kakariko village to speak with Impa, who will give you more details on your quest. Descend from the Great Plateau and head east, beyond the dueling peaks. Woohoo! This is awesome! We could probably just fast travel to the, uh, to the tower here. And then from there, we can paraglide as well, once more. I think that might be the best thing to do right now oh oh my gosh so you also have stamina i just realized that i was so like mesmerized by the view that i completely didn't even think about it but it seems like you're also you also have to be mindful of your stamina when you're paragliding oh god i don't know how that's gonna work out for us Okay, so we're here, and I guess we'll do this again. Twin Peaks, and, uh, woohoo! Oh my gosh. So can I let it go? Oh! Okay, I see how that works. That is so cool! Oh my gosh! Hyrule Kingdom! Oh, it's beautiful, guys. Hey, what are you doing here? Hold on. Time out. Let me pull this out. The pitchfork. Yep, yep. How dare you. This is so cool. Interesting. Yeah, so this is everything beyond this point. I have never seen. Like, ever. I also don't know if it's such a good idea to try and use 
Ooh, what is this? A rusty shield. It's likely this rusty. Old shield once belonged to a knight. It has some defensive capabilities. But it's very weak. Do I want to take that? Let me see here. I mean... I don't know if these things will be, like, of any use later on. Like, if we can fix them up and then they'll be much better than what they currently are. So I don't want to, like, miss anything just in case. Because you just never really know. Nothing here. Oh, Link, get off. There's no time for rock climbing. Ooh. A rusty halberd. Halberd? Halberd? So a rusty pole arm likely used by knights from the past. I will keep that in my inventory. I'm gonna check out uh I'm gonna <laughs> check. I'm gonna check all these uh little rooms here. Just in case. As you can see, some valuable choo-choo jellies. And uh, rusty claymore. We've got one of those already. I don't think we need another one. I also just found hold on. Come over here. Can I? Actually, never mind. I can just go up there. Oh, what is that? A fox? Oh. Oh. So, oh, what is that? Oh, that's just. Never mind. I thought that was like a giant bat or something trying to eat, eat me alive. Got another traveler's bow, but my inventory is full. So, do I have. Might as well get rid of all these, right? Yeah. What am I doing with this garbage? Nobody needs that. Take the traveler's bow any day. So, this is a fox. Hello. Hey, little fox. I said, hey, little fox. I said, hey, little fox. How dare you run away from me. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna be a villainous individual at the moment. I feel good, I'm, I feel at peace. So we're gonna traverse through these lands and respect the wildlife as we venture through them. Of course that is until I get sick and tired of being nice. You know what, I might actually be better off going here and getting the bomb and just throwing that over there, like, hello. Yep, that works! A wooden bow. More arrows. That's excellent. That's not what I wanted to do, but... Ooh. Yeah, there is a lot to explore. And I know this world is massive. I mean, I'm no stranger to Zelda games. Well, actually, I am. I've only really truly played Ocarina of Time. To be honest. Wait, can I go ahead and grab this? Oh, that is so awesome. Oh, my goodness. That is so cool. <laughs> and we've got more amber. I'm going to need you guys to give me some tips. There's a lot of things that we're picking up. And although we do get a brief description of them i'm not too sure i understand exactly how we can use them but maybe later on once we get more more things going for for ourselves like within our inventory maybe yep. maybe these items will have more of a better use i'm gonna check this area out here nothing how about here nothing This is empty as well. I think I heard some enemies over there. Probably. That's where the chest was. I don't know if I should be doing this. Just destroying everything that I see in its path. Probably not a good idea. But what the heck. Who cares. Alright. We've got a little body of water here. Do we have... No, no chest there. Oh, that's a big fella. <gasps> what are those things? Are you kidding me? 
Oh my goodness, hold on. What's over there? Uh, this is not looking good for us. We're definitely going to ha have to fight those things from a distance. They are massive. And, and they've got spears. Which is technically... Not what I want to be going up against right now. But, you know what? I am Link. I am the knight that will save Hyrule. And I must do what I must do. Take this! Okay. Okay, hold on. Easy does it. Okay, here we go. Ah! I did not time that correctly. Oh my goodness gracious! Away! How dare you come here and try to scare me, man. A moblin fang, a sharp fang obtained from a moblin. It's too hard to be reshaped into a tool, but it can be tossed into a stew with some critters, two greedy elixirs, and a horn. The splendid horn once grew on top of the head of a moblin. It can be used or cannot be used in normal food recipes, but it does have some uses as an ingredient to making elixirs. And a boko bat, a clunky club made of boko, 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 boko blin, I, I don't know, man. Uh, if you swing it at an enemy's shield, it may just be able to knock them down. Okay, that's good. But these guys don't have shields. So I don't think these guys care for that. What I do care for is... Uh, eating some food? Sweet. Oh, God. Oh my god, I just knocked him down. So definitely hit, hit hit the head. Definitely go for the head. Sweet. Attack! Uh, uh. Oh, you guys are not even that bad. You guys are pretty easy. You guys ain't that bad. You know who's crazy around here? I'm crazy around here. You guys better start showing some respect. Go ahead and grab this apple. We've got a couple more here. I mean, this is all going to serve as uh, experience for us. So I guess it doesn't hurt. Come here. I like that if you hit him on the face. Oh, God. Take this. Oh, very nice. Wait, not nice. Gosh, that is so cool. Sorry, little birds. But I'm hungry. I need some food. And you've got just what I need. Let me see. Is there anything in that wagon back there? Kind of exploring at the moment. Just making sure I don't miss anything. There is nothing there. Oh, look at these guys. These guys do not know that I've come fully prepared... Let's freeze him. Let's go. Freeze the blue guy. He's the harder one. This guy's got a guy. What is it? A broomstick? It's okay. This is not doing much damage right now. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. Here we go. Ugh. Incredible performance. Wow, this is really not doing much. Hold on. How about we get this? Much better. Oh, wow. This is much better. I think that's one of the things we... Uh, we had earlier on in the game, so that just wasn't up to par. But we've got a farming hoe, which is a tool primarily used for 
Telling the fields its fine craftsmanship is sturdy enough to withstand backbreaking field work, but its battle applications are untested. And we've got a broom. A wooden broom, which is actually not bad in attributes. All right, it's time. There is so many materials and so many sorts of different weapons. Like, for example, this right here. I'm dropping that, and I'm getting the farming hoe. Only a smart knight would do such a thing. That is exactly what I am. Is this another shrine? The Bosch Kala Shrine. Okay. Hold on. So before I head in there, I want to see what's over here. East Post Ruins. We've got a chest up here. Actually, we do not have a chest. I am slightly delusional. Oh. Okay, I like this. Okay, we've got a bridge. That's good. It's good for business. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, should we tackle this shrine? I think we should. Might as well. We're already here. Let's see what we've got. I'm intrigued. I'm already nervous. There's a lot going on here. Okay. We've got some fans on the sides. So do you have to introduce your Sheikah Slate in every single one of these, or... I guess you don't. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I think we've got to use our paraglider there. Nice. Yeah, these things make you think outside the box. Like, wow. But this is also very important for uh, for us to improve Link as 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 much as possible, right? Wow, that is awesome, dude. That is so cool. Alright, so we can climb up this wall. No, we cannot. I mean, we can, but... I don't think that's what we need to do here. I think what we need to do... Hmm. I'm a firm believer that we don't have to be here. But, of course, if you explore... Really? Why can I grab that? Okay, maybe we've got to go here and then kind of glide back over there. Let's try that. Woohoo! <gasps> oh my gosh. Please get it. Soldier's Claymore. Wow, that's actually pretty strong. Inventory is full, so we'll go ahead and empty something out. I guess. What's the weakest weapon we've got right now? Everything we have is pretty strong. I'm going to get rid of this. This looks awesome. Perfect. Put that away, Link. And, uh... Perfect. So I kind of did pay off to kind of go at the end there and explore a bit. And grab that chest. It seems like there are some particular chests that we cannot equip uh, or magnetize towards us. Why does that keep happening? Okay, sweet. I think we're done. Hmm. 
Okay, so we have shown our resourcefulness. In the name of the goddess, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, sweet. May the goddess smile upon you. All right, so that's it. Side quest, Xenoblade. Okay, guys, what is that? What does that do? I've got to check this out. Collaboration with Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> what? Uh, the southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge. The eastern sky from the skull's left eye. The southern eastern from the peak of the tall pierced snowy mountain. Look to the night sky at these locations and find the red shooting stars. What? Oh, those are side quests. That is that like a a collaboration with the Xenoblade? I mean, I'm a little busy right now, but I think that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool indeed. Ooh, got some uh, green shrooms here. Okay, we've got a group of bandits down below let me just check this area out and then we're gonna go and take those guys out as well I have to say I do like the little glitch where you can unlimitedly sprint but it is pretty tedious to be holding down on the d-pad and trying to sprint at the same time all right You look at this sneaky 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 <laughs> oh gosh you thought you had me fooled now let's go here i don't want to have to fight that thing but if i must then i will Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, it didn't reach. That's why it didn't blow up. Oh my god. I have to take into consideration that the arrows have a draw. I don't even know why I didn't think about that. I should have thought about that. That was my fault. Oh, cool. We can cook here. A throwing spear. A, special, a specialized spear weighed to excel as a throwing weapon. It is perfect, perfectly balanced to be thrown further than your average spear. That is actually quite awesome. Let's go to my tools here and uh, I guess we can... Man, that's actually really strong. I mean, this is broken. Do we really need this? I don't know. I'm kind of scared to throw it away and then we'll probably need it later on. Um... So here we have 20-6. Uh, what does that 6 do? I'm gonna, th I'm just going to drop this. That might be really helpful, but I kind of feel like the spear might be kind of cool. You never know. Anyways, I'm going to put some things here to cook in the meantime. And uh, let's see. What do we have? We've got... Um, can hold... Cool. Let's see what this does. Wow. The simmered fruit. This sweet dish is made by heaping tasty fruits into a pan, a pan and simmering until tender. That is excellent. Okay, we'll go back here. We're gonna... What happens if we make this, if we put this here? Did I throw that in there with some food? No, right? Uh, rock hard. Did I? Um. Uh, 
Okay, so there's got to be something to do with with there's there's got to be a way we can use those those things better. We're just wasting it right now. Sweet. All right, I like that. All right, cool. Oh my. Wait a minute. Absolutely not leaving that behind. Let's go here. We've got uh, Traveler's Claymore. The Rusty. You know what? I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to drop this Farmer's Tool. Yes, I'm going to keep that. Got a bow. Go ahead and grab this. Yes. And my, how do we include, uh, excuse me, how do we increase our inventory? Because this is pretty gnarly. Perfect. All right. So we can, we can take the bridge. We should probably take the bridge, to be honest. And what is this? The spiked buckle shield. <gasps> really? Yes. Look at this. We're just, we just keep getting stuff on top of stuff. It's like never ending, really. Um, I want to equip this. This is better than the one we have. <laughs> 100%. What is that over there? There's something in the water. And there's also a chest. Oh, that's a fish. Can we swim here? Oh, I thought the kernel was going to be too strong. Wait, there's somebody up there. Uh, either I'm going crazy or there's somebody up there. Now we've got a mighty carp. Uh-oh, this is not good. Am I going to drown here? Uh, what? What just happened? Okay, fine. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty stressful. Like, if your stamina runs out when you're fi uh, fishing, when you're swimming, you just drown? It doesn't even regenerate? Are you kidding me? Come on, guys. That, that is not cool. But I get it. Now, I do see a random villager here who's kind of piquing my interest. I'd be lying if I'd say he wasn't. What is he doing? Hello! The end is here. Is it now? I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, uh, well, let's just say it's badder than most. We're doomed! I mean, don't panic! Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Brigo is his name, by the way. Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was just getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the way, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about the mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. These, or they seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened around here. Those long deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. Aww. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here. With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? Yeah, good idea. What thing? <laughs> ah. Yeah, that guardian is worth watching. It's just like those from the old stories. Oh. Did you know some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. This one here? No. It was a different one. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest, when they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that that was the end for me, but uh, I was prepared for the worst. But I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods, mm -hmm. thankfully. You think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me? Heh, <laughs> I wish. Truth is, I, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear the guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Just be careful out there. Hey, thanks, dude. Really appreciate that, Brigo. That's actually the first person we ever see around these parks. 
Okay. So we actually ended up finding up this little campfire. And, uh, seems like this guy, Prigo, just slept here with us. Okay. That was a bit weird. But we're gonna keep going. So there's a tower we pinged. Those are the Twin Peaks. And I think we are going in the right direction. So that's always a plus. We've got some more enemies over there. So do we get like XP points when we defeat enemies? Like the more enemies we fight? I mean, is there some sort of incentive? Oh wow, I knocked them off. Mm. Excellent. Ooh, the bladed rhino beetle. This beetle razor sharp horns. The beetle's razor sharp horns demand that you handle it with care. Boil the horns alongside monster parts to concoct the elixir that will raise your attack power. No way. So that's basically what they were talking about. Those are the critters that we need to use with the other core elements. No, put that away. Put that away. You saw they just went to grab their, their weapons? Oh God. Oh my gosh. The two-handed sword is definitely a must. Not just the swords, but the weapons in general. Wow. That was pretty awesome. I have to say that was pretty awesome. Oh! I pressed the wrong button! My God. I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty, uh, that was pretty embarrassing. I'm sorry. Well, at least we've got a bunch of apples, right? I guess we can actually use these apples and restore some health here. What can we do with those things? Oh, we've got a big old stake here. Perfect. Mesmerizing, uh, similar to the inside of a seashell, contains the power of water. I really gotta see, um, hopefully you guys can help me what those things do. Like, what can we do with those things? With the opal stones. Uh, whoa! You kidding me? I'm gonna feel really terrible for this. Icy meat. <laughs> okay, I feel really terrible for that. That was that was bad. I just I just killed the goat. But he attacked me first. Not like I was looking for trouble or anything. And he just came and slammed me with his horns. Blue nightshade, a plant that grows in the quieter areas of Hyrule at night. It gives off a soft glow. Cook it to increase your stealth. Sweet. Yeah, it definitely pays off to explore. There's gotta be somebody up here. Hello? Huh. Whoa. Korok, you found me! Uh, you're not, has two? But you can see me. 
I didn't know your kind could see that ch uh, the children of the forest. Well, if you run into Hestu, please return this to him. The Korok seed. This small seed was given to you by a Korok. It has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what may happen. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of places. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. Oh. Alright, we've got a little fire over there going on. I don't know, I'm kind of intrigued. Like, I was going to go across, but now I kind of feel like... Now I kind of feel like I want to go over here to the smoke and see what's popping. What's going on? What's cooking? What's cracking lacking? What's cooking good looking? Alright, what do we have here? Interesting. Ooh, what is this? Whoa. This is weird. Oh! Hello! Oh, this is not the same guy. Yeah. Giro. Hey! You a traveler? Grab a spot by the fire if you'd like. I'm traveling. I'm a traveling merchant named Giro. It's nice to meet you. Crazy times we live in, eh? I go into the forest all on my own to get my wares. But there are far safer ways to get them, such as buying them from travelers like you. So... Do you happen to have anything rare you'd be interested in selling? Hmm. I don't know. Mm. Oh, and these are and oh, these are worth rupees. That it, uh, it's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. What what do we sell here? Like, what are the best things to sell? I don't know. I'll I'll sell three. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. Okay, how about... I don't even know what to sell right now. Now it's my turn. Do you want to buy something? Show me the goods. Oh, this is super cool. The hearty truffle. This rare mushroom has rich scents. Um, so if you cook it before eating, it temporarily increases the maximum hearts. The rock salt crystallized salt from the ancient sea commonly used to use meals cannot be eaten in this form. The swift carrot. Well, to be honest, he doesn't really have anything too good. Okay, thank you. Even the areas near civilization are full of monsters these days. Just strolling through the woods can be dangerous. You be careful. We've got a woodcutter's... X. Interesting. I'm really hoping I don't regret buying or not buying anything from him. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my gosh. No, no. Where are you going? Sorry, dude. But I think you've met your match. We've got a soldier sword. I'm probably gonna go to my inventory and get rid of all the things we're not gonna... Actually, I like all the things there. Oh, I guess we're in some sort of a uh, predicament now. I guess it's good to be in this position. We've got plenty of things to choose from. I think I just burned myself. Hmm. Got another throw of a spear. So for the merchant, can you sell other things besides? I don't I don't think I looked. Can I sell other things besides 
Oh, the soldier's shield. A shield that uh, was once used by the guards of Hyrule Castle. Okay, hold on. This is getting interesting. It can catch fire. Well, that's cool. I'll go ahead and equip that bad boy. Oh, yes. Look at us go. Oh, my goodness. So beautiful. Okay, I think I saw... I think I saw... Ooh, a critter. Wait, that's not a critter. That's a lizard. Is that considered a critter in this game? I don't know. Let me just check with this merchant really quickly. See if I can... I didn't realize if I can also sell my weapons or things like that. Hi. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you can. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm not... I mean, I'm not going to use this. Okay, hold on. Oh, this is awesome. So, you cannot sell your weapons. Only your materials and your food. Okay, well. Okay, I'm not interested. I'll see you later, bud. We've got some wildlife here. I think it's probably best if we just go to the new tower. I feel like we've been putting this to the side for far too long now. And we do have a little river that we can cross. We've got another one of these little settlements of these guys that we can go there and possibly destroy them. There's also a little tree house over there which belongs to them as well. Hmm. Oof. Hold on. We're gonna have to use this. Sweet. It's too late now. Might be too late. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This double, double handed sword is awesome. Let's go! This is incredible! And we've got a new shield, which is great. Hey, bud! How you doing? Yeah! Excellent performance. Well, that was pretty cool. Alright, we've got a raft there as well. Just realized that. Hmm. I could have easily taken them all out. But I chose the more civilized way. Let me see. Can we uh, trade... No, I think we're good here. Let's see if we can take these guys out now. I really am liking this sword. Oh my god, so cool. What a freaking awesome sword. Hello, boys! Don't mind if I do. My goodness. Ah! Time out. We need to eat an apple. Apple, apple. Scrumptious, delicious. Okay. Hold on. Don't get scared. 
Whoa! Oh my God, I'm gonna die here. And I just died. That is fantastic. Hello. Oh, he picked that up. He picked that up. Oh my God. <laughs> he picked that up. Oh God. I don't think the arrows are reaching me, so that's great. That is awesome. Sorry, bud. You're going to have to try harder than that. What is this? Traveler's Claymore. Hmm. Sorry about that. Okay, our weapon is badly damaged. Thankfully. Thankfully. We've got some arrows, and we also have a different one right here. Oh no. Yes. Perfect. Man, this is so cool. Perfection. Oh, what is that over there? I see a chest. What is that? What? Oh, those things were in the original Ocarina of Time! That is so cool! Wow, that is so awesome. Wow, what a throwback. Actually, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, perfect. All that for Amber. Embarrassing. <laughs> the Octorok Tentacle. This can only be obtained from an Oct Octorok. It is too acidic for cooking, but it is highly valued as an ingredient for, uh, ingredient for elic elixirs. Gosh, apparently I can't read. I'm gonna grab this one as well. And I'm gonna head back over here before I drown. Come on, Link, we can do this. Ugh. Perfect. All right, so. Much better. Please do not come close to me. Raw meats. Meat obtained from animals in plains and forests. You can eat it raw, but cooking it will make it more delicious and nutritious. So we've got those ores. I don't know what they are. Ores? Is that the right word I'm looking for? I don't know. But those stones. And I don't know if breaking them is the right way to obtain them. Oh my. Should we jump a little bit? Just just a little bit? Yeah. I think we're good. And look at that. Our second tower has been officially unlocked. Now we can finally get to see what's around this area. The Sheikah Tower has been activated. Very cool. Scanning the area. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh my. Wow, the entire spot? Dude, that's massive.
The regional map has been extracted. Sheikah Slate updated additional functionality has also been detected. The Sheikah Sensor. Searching for shrines. The sensor reacts when you are close to shrines that you have not yet visited. If you hear or if you head in the direction where the reaction is strongest, you will or should be able to find the shrine. You can enable the, disable the Sheikah Sensor with Y on the map screen. Dude, that is super cool. Huh. It's just one of those games that keeps on giving. Hmm. The sensor indicator has been placed near the minimap. Search for shrines by moving in the direction of the strongest signal. Wow, guys. This is so cool. Woohoo! Man, this is such a cool mechanic. So well done, too. Woohoo! <laughs> That's awesome. Uh huh. What do we have here? Got one of these little tree houses. And that is an iron shroom. The cap of the mushroom is very hard. Use it when cooking to prepare a dish that increases your defenses. Ooh. Oh, what is this? A woodcutter's axe. I don't think we're gonna take that. I think we're gonna open the chest and... A flint. Strike it with a metallic weapon to generate a spark. This portable fire starter breaks after one use. But it can create a long-lasting flame if you use it near firewood. Dude, that is awesome. So now we know how we can make... Well, fire. On the go. Which is actually something I've been... Trying to figure out, but... There's nothing up there, right? Oh, man. That is that is so cool. Something so simple. Yeah, you can actually get up there. All right, so where is this? Let me take a look at the map here. We've got this whole other area here. All right, so here we are at the top of the Dueling Peaks Tower. And I've come here just because I feel like we have to... We don't have to, but I want to glide over there. And see what we can find. We have not really explored that area yet. And I believe there's also a shrine. Which I didn't pin, but I know exactly where it's at. So I don't think we should be too bad. There's also some chests here. Oh, and there's a little raft. Nice. How do I use the raft? Oh, nice. I can call these out. Perfect. Nope. What? Oh, my God. You found me. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. I was, I was not expecting that. The soldier spear. But my inventory is full. Man, this inventory is... This is killing me. I'm so scared to let go of these because I don't know if they'll be able to be, be like upgraded into something incredible. You know, that's something the that games have done in the past for me. So I guess I'm kind of scared that that's going to happen here. Um, Should we go to that little raft? Oh, there's more. Oh my God. There's a bunch of chests here. Okay, so we're going to grab this. We're going to bring it towards us. Just like that. Another soldier's bow. So we might actually need... Uh... We might actually need a leaf or something to blow. Because yeah, there's no way for us to really... There's no way for us to kind of direct ourselves with that raft at the moment. I don't think we have the leaf with us. So if we take a look at the inventory, I don't think we ever picked it up. 
That's not gonna work out. But that's okay. Maybe there is a different way, yeah. But I don't really know. What do we have here? Another chest. And another opal stone. Alright, cool. So... I think we were headed this way. Before I got distracted by the, uh... By the lake. So I'm gonna pin this over here. Just for now. So I can know exactly where it is that I have to go. I think we're facing the wrong way. It is this way. Alright, cool. What is this? Ooh, another chest. It seems like somebody probably lived here once upon a time. And they left us a little present, which is always nice. And once you look at that, speak of the devil, the Korok leaf. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, God. You know what, guys? I'm just gonna get rid of this one. Yeah, why not? I can't believe I am literally... Dropping a spear for a leaf. This is ridiculous. But I guess it's good to have it handy. Whoa. Okay, we're not headed that way just yet. But now we have it. We know there's a raft there. And we know the possibilities are endless. So we're headed over to that lake. Seems to be something over there. I don't know if that flag has some sort of significance for us to explore, but... We are headed this way. Let's see, what do we got here? We've got what appears to be a well of sorts. Hmm. Whoa. Hello. Sorry. No? Okay. Man, you can tell that everything's been destroyed. Hyrule really isn't what it used to be. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Beautiful landscape. I, I honestly cannot wait to get the horse. I know you can get a horse eventually. I don't know when that's gonna be, but... Man. We need a horse badly. There is a lot of running in this game. And the map is just massive. But, luckily, we have arrived at the forest. One of the many forests within this game. And, uh... Let's see what this lake has to offer. There is a lake here. Woohoo! I feel so alive! Oh. Ah. Where are these guys? And stand these bastards. Alright, so let's see. Maybe... Man, I feel like, uh... I'm gonna attack them by here. We're gonna go around here. Oh my god. So as much as I want to... Damn, that didn't reach. I was really, I, I, I was really hoping that would hit the barrel. That was an epic fail. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. We can, uh, can I get my little bomb? Yep. That doesn't really work. This is not good! Whoa! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? These guys are suicidal! Freaking maniacs! I guess this is okay. Eating rocks is as good as it's gonna get. You are crazy. You are absolutely out of your mind crazy. I think they're gone. 
Have we defeated the demons? We got a Bacoblin Fang. And I think there's actually another one up there. Guarding the chest. Oop. We're all out of luck here. How do I get up there? That's the question. Hmm. Come on, dude, get over here. I mean, I could just climb this tree, right? No? Oh, come on. That should definitely be a thing. All right, we've got to find a way to approach this. I wonder if I can climb the tower. And then just kind of... Oh, hold on. There's more. <laughs> oh, it's over. Sweet. Sorry, bucko. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Another bow. Inventory is full. I mean, we could technically throw this one away. We've been using it for far too long. So I'll just go ahead and drop. Actually, no. I've got... There we go. Thank you. Okay, so this is the lake, correct? Yeah, this is the lake. And there's something there. I don't know what this could be for. But I'm gonna go ahead and bring this with me. Just because you never know. And, uh... Well, this should be... Accessible through here. I'm gonna put this here. Drop it down. And then let's see if there's anything inside the trunk. Ooh. Interesting. I'm really surprised that there's nothing there. I do have a feeling that this might be used. Maybe there's something on top of that tower. How about we try and do that? I feel like those towers are not just there for for no reason. You know what I mean? I mean, I could be wrong, but I guess it doesn't hurt to try. Let me see here. I'll place it right there. As long as it doesn't fall, I think it'll be just fine. This is getting a little steep now. <laughs> I don't trust it. Oh! Please, just a little more. Oh, God! I knew it! I had a feeling, man. Bomb arrows. And that is actually super, super handy. Um, anyways. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's glide over. Woohoo! There is a shrine nearby. Oh god. Please, please leave me alone. Alright, wildlife is getting pretty crazy. We've got a little bridge here. Oh, no way. You found me! Alright, so we've decided to travel back to the tower to continue on our journey beyond the Twin Peaks. Woohoo! And I think I'm actually gonna stay up here. Just in case. I gotta see how to destroy these things. Like. Hmm. We probably need some sort of specific tool. Maybe. I don't think the bomb's gonna do it. Let me see here. That's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do it either. Neither is that. Hmm. 
There's actually quite a few down below, too. Oh, there's a shrine up here. What in the world? The Reed He Shrine. Oh, this is great. Perfect. Let's do this. That's so random. Like, I would have never thought that was going to be there. Well, this looks interesting. I am a Reed He. I offer this trial. Timing is critical. Oh my god, this looks... This looks terrible. So we're probably gonna need... Huh? What? Okay. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> I see. That is so cool. Oh, that's actually pretty clever. Now, I know that there are like shrines that you've got to use like the motion sensor of the controls. Are those like shrines later on into the game or? Because I, I really haven't had the need for the motion controls. And that's one of the reasons why I decided I was also going to play it on the Switch instead of on the PC, which had maximum fidelity graphics. Supporting over the control mechanics is a pain in the butt, so I, I just figured it wasn't even worth it. I refuse to believe this shrine does not have at least one extra hidden chest. It's just impossible. Oh, almost got it. Excellent. There's the chest. Now the question is, how do I get there? Uh. Okay, so... I think... Let me see something. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> oh my. That actually worked. Whoa! The climber's bandana. It may look like a regular bandana, but it's actually infused with ancient technology that enhances core strength to improve your climbing. Dude, I'm putting that right on. Oh my god, that's so cool. Let's go. Man, I love when games have like gear and stuff like that. Okay, how do we go back up? Oh, of course. Well, of course. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. And just like that, we've got ourselves another spirit orb. In the name of the goddess, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. I thank you. All right, we've got two. I think we need four, right? I think it was, is it always four or does it? Or does it become more eventually? Nonetheless, that was... That was freaking cool. Finally, a different item. You know? Different gear for, like, ourselves to wear. That enhances our abilities, whether it's defense, stamina, or health, or whatnot. Um, it feels good. And I... I think this shrine was very well worth it at the end. Oh, are those crocodiles? What is that? No, Link. Don't do that. The fact that you can slow down time in midair is awesome, too. But right now, we're headed into a different uh, part of the world. We've got these guys here sleeping. Little do they know that their worst nightmare 
is upon them. Look at them sleeping. Oh, so nice. <laughs> oh, God. I love it. Come here. Wait, don't you go get your sword. Nice. Alright, so we got a soldier sword that's actually better than any of the ones we've got currently. So I'm going to go to my uh, soldier swords here. And I think we've only got one, to be honest. I'm gonna drop it. This one seems to be better. I'm going to open this up. Oh man, there's actually a boomerang here? This is Ocarina of Time. This throwing weapon was originally used by the forest dwelling Koroks. Its unique shape allows it to return after being thrown. There's no way I'm not picking that up. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm probably just gonna let go of something. Maybe, maybe, maybe this. I'm, I'm so sorry. If it's some sort of ancient thing that could be replenished into a better weapon and I just dropped it. You know what? I'll take the L. But right now... Let me see. Do we have it? Just making sure. That is so cool. Soldier sword. Wait, we didn't drop the soldier sword, did we? No, we did not. Good. Okay. Let me go ahead and pick this up. Thank you. And this is a rusty halberd, which I do not think we need. Love how you can just cut the grass like that. That's so cool. Currently 2.25 in the morning. Huh. What is this? The sneaky river snail. This large glow-in-the-dark snail lives in the fresh water. When cooked into a dish, it heightens your senses so you can move absolutely or about silently. Apparently, I don't know how to read too much. The skeletons come out during the night to play. You know what? Matter of fact, you guys can take that. And then I'll go ahead and take you boys out. Come here. Come here. Very badly damaged. Should have probably dropped this instead of the soldier sword back there. That's okay. Ooh, this is a different shrine. Wait, what? Can I not get there? Oh, this is so nice here. It's so peaceful. Ah, this is the life. Hello, Sagisa. Good evening. Uh, don't see a whole lot of travelers passing by through here. You know, with how peaceful it is around here, it's sometimes easy to get, uh, forget that the world almost ended years ago. But there is still monsters wandering around. And the era new Hyrule Castle is especially dangerous. If you're going to be traveling, you should know a thing or two about elixirs. Elixirs? Ah. You can make elixirs by mixing bugs and other small creatures with monster parts. But... Uh, most of them are no good for refilling your health, but they do have a lot of unique effects. Some elixirs can increase your speed, others raise your resistance to extreme temperatures. Mm. I'm actually impressed that uh, you've made it this far without any knowledge of elixirs. I cannot have it on my conscience if something happens to you from here. So I'll give one to you. The hasty elixir. So grants a slow level haste effect, which boosts your movement speed while running, swimming, or climbing. Using a hasty elixir increases your run speed, so I use it to escape from enemies or any time I need to hurry. This recipe is a night tail lizard and a uh, monster's parts. Oh, those are the little tails we've been seeing running around. So I usually have a stock of 10 or so on hand. Why, thank ya. So now I'm questioning myself, can I go here? I mean, I should be able to if I just kind of do this, right? Hmm. Freeze it up and just glide over. See, easy as pie. So I'm gonna do this other. Uh, I'm gonna do this shrine as well, and then we'll go to the uh, main location. The 
the water guides. Ooh. Alrighty, guys. This is, uh, interesting. And let's see what we have here. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be... Oh. For this? <laughs> no way, dude. What the heck? I hate how you cannot climb on those walls. Why are you torturing me like this? Oh, come on, for the love of God. Okay, there we go. I guess we just needed to think outside the box. I don't know if I trust these pillars above me. They look quite dangerous. Feel like I'm gonna get stomped on. And we've got another boulder just rolling around here. Let's see. What do we do here? Oh my gosh. And there's a chest back there. <gasps> Incredible. Alright, you know what? First things first. I am gonna grab this chest because, uh,. Everybody loves a chest. Every now and then. And a matter of fact... I'm probably gonna put this here. Just to be safe. Oh man, this is great. Purple rupees. Its violet glow fills your heart with generosity. Woohoo! Okay, so... Let's see. How in the world? Okay, this is getting really intricate. Like, are we really gonna have to climb all the way up there? My God, this is crazy. Wow. I can definitely see where the magic of this game comes from. This is just ridiculous. This is so cool. Okay. So far, so good. I think we're doing pretty good. Alright, so... Okay, let's try something else here. Let's try to break this and break this. Hmm. Ah. All right, so that's got to do the trick. Oh my god! We did it! Oh my goodness, that is so cool! <gasps> that is so freaking cool. <laughs> that actually worked, man. I have... Uh, the magic is here. I feel the magic of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I feel it. I'm feeling it. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Alright, the resurrection resourcefulness and overthinking this trial. Promise of a hero. Let me get my spare door, please. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. It's a brand new day. Ooh, and the spikes are gone. Huh. Well, that's new. Is there any sort of uh, uh there's nothing here. I don't know what that is. Oh, who's this guy? There's a bunch of people here. 
Are we supposed to? Is this where we're supposed to go? It's not. We're not even close. Hello! <laughs> Dueling Peaks Stable. Who's this guy? Hey! Hello! I don't believe I've made your acquaintance. No, you have not, Beetle. The name's Beetle, but you can call me... Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. But even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my Beetle-shaped backpack. Wow! Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock my special bugs and must-have items for travelers, and I always charge a fair price. Or, my name's not Beetle. <laughs> also, buy all sorts of things if you're, need, uh, if you're in need of rupees. Gemstones in particular fetch a high price. How can I help you today? Oh, let me see what you've got first, Mr. Beetle. Okay, he's got arrows. He's got the Restless Cricket. Uh, a very energetic cricket cooking with monster parts to create a stamina recovery elixir. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. I'll buy one of each. Just to... Uh, a quick frog that can be found hopping around near water. Cook it with monster parts. Speed boost effect. <laughs> I just want to see what they do, so. So, if you want to see a float, hold it in your hands. So, this is an inflatable, inflatable Octorok organ. Has a, a lot of lift, so attach it to items. You want to see float. Hold it in your hands and then place it on an object. I don't know if I care for that. But let's see what I've got. What does it give me for any of these things? Hmm. Anything in particular? <laughs> We've got these. I don't know if I can use these for anything. I, I've got to see if you guys could help me out with what I can sell and what I shouldn't sell. That, that'd be great. Oh, this is Ocarina of Time all over again. Oh my god. Let's go, chicken. <laughs> oh, man. Hello. Hi. Sagessa. Oh, that's the girl we spoke to outside. This area is nice and quiet, but there are still monsters wandering around. Right. Uh, Hyrule. Okay. Yeah, we spoke to her already. Never mind. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Got a torch here. Can I get some of these apples? Uh, if the apples run out, the children will go pick some more. They told me to take as many as you want. Oh, great. Good. Give the kids something to do. Excellent. Are these the kids? Darden. Hey, Shibo. Uh, you think uh, this nosy guy right here is interested in horses? Hmm, it looks like it to me. Darden, judging from his eyes, he's just itching to get into the saddle. You're right. He's got eyes that just say, like, nothing in this world matters to me except horses. That means... That means... That means we've got ourselves a customer. Howdy, Mr. Man. Welcome to the Dueling Peak Stables. Or, welcome to the front of the Dueling Peak Stables, I guess. You really can tell just by looking into his eyes. Bro, his head is just filled with those horse stuff, right? That's right. Just look at his eyes right now in his head. It's all a, it's all horses. Horses, horses, food, and horses, right? In that case, you should feel free to ask us anything at all about horses. Do you want to hear some tips to help you master your horse? Yay or nay? I didn't think of that joke, by the way. That's one of my dad's jokes. So, uh, catching a horse, good horses. How do I train a horse? Catching a horse. Wild horses get scared easily. And if they notice people near them, they will take off. Just sneak up behind them real slow when you've got a good one and close. Grab them and jump on quick. If you crouch and sneak up quietly, they won't notice you. Dad taught us a lot. Just leave the horse and around to us. Good horses. Horses with spots on them are even tempered and easy to train. On the other hand, horses that are one color, like straight black or white, are a bit more wild and harder to train. But one color horses have more stamina and run faster. Dad said they're hard, uh, they're hard to handle at first, but if you spend a lot of time with them, they'll be your best buds. 
That also said the beginner should start with spotted horses. When I grow up, I'll ride one colored horses, though. <laughs> hey, mister. You get all that? That taught us a lot. Um, now, how do I train one? They're really wild, so they'll run in different directions and buck here and there because they're obviously not trained yet. But when that happens, you've got to soothe them. But that also said that just constantly soothing them won't do at all. Uh, the trick is to soothe them when they do want you... What? The trick is to soothe them when they do what you want them to do. Oh, okay. It's like saying thanks to them for a job well done. Okay. Thank you. So I guess we've got a... We can find a horse and tame it? That's freaking awesome. Hello. Hey. Renza, welcome to Dueling Peak Stable. What do you think of the place? Pretty nice, yeah? It might be hard to imagine now, but this place was nearly destroyed about a hundred years ago. However, thanks to the blessings of the Dueling Peaks, everything is full of life again. Even the wild horses are back. There's a lot of energy in this place. So, where are you headed? Both Kakariko Kaka Village and Hateno Village are nearby. Wild horses? Hmm. Huh, did you not see any horse on the way here? Certainly not as many as in years past, but there are still quite a few around. Honestly, we didn't see any. Horses in the wild are well wild. No one has trained or cared for them. If you manage to catch one, let me, uh, let my brother Tasserin know. He'll register the horse for you. My boys are wellsprings of information about horses, so feel free to pick their brains. Uh, leave it to Renza to tell you about the road around this area. Okay, so let's talk about Kakariko Village. Oh. This is the village where the uh, Shika clan lives. Ah. It said that uh, some time ago... They had advanced techniques that uh, were more powerful than anything anyone has ever seen. But that power put them at odds with the king at the time, and they were scattered across the land. Anyway, if you leave the, if you leave here and follow the road straight to the north, you'll find the bridge. Cross that and keep following the path, and you'll come to the Kakariko village. Leave it to Renza to tell you all about the horses. What about Hotano ah. village? It's at the edge of Hyrule. It was largely unaffected by the events of the Great Calamity, so the people there are pretty easygoing. Mm. I hear that uh, they even have a research center, but folks uh, tend to avoid the weird science. Or the weird sciences who live there. Anyway, head north from there until you reach a fork on the road, then go east. Just follow the road. It's a little far if you walk, but uh, with a horse, you should get around in under a day. Leave it to Renza to tell you all about the horses. Mm. Okay, thank you. What do we have here? Hello. Have you ever been to Kakariko Village? They've got great food and great clothes, but it ain't cheap. I'm selling a few things I picked up in my travels. Doesn't cost to look. Well, he's actually right. Energetic rhino beetle. Now you got you man, you you're out of your mind. Excessively expensive. I've got the scoop on the Misko's treasure, and it's great. Listen up. Ah. Dak, prison, hang on. Oh, these guys are twins. Hey, buddy. What's your problem? You aren't being incredibly rude and listening to our conversation, are you? Uh, we're treasure hunters on the trail of our latest score, the treasure of the great banded Misko. It's as good as ours. Ah. Prison, you're going to give it all away. Ah. Sorry, Dak. I, I got carried away there. Anyway, we're busy here, dude. If... You need something, just take it up with someone else. Hmm. Interesting. Hey! Welcome! Will you be staying with us? A regular bed will cost you 20 rupees and a soft bed is 40. Uh, what's the soft bed? Oh. The soft bed is a special bed we're proud to offer here at the stable. It costs more than the regular bed, but you'll wake up more energized. Oh. <laughs> nah, dude. I'm, I'm okay. Well, thank you! Um, who's this guy? Have we spoken to him? I don't think so. Kino. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in my thought here. I've been doing rigorous research day and night to figure out the mystery of the blood moon. Blood moon? You don't know it? That's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you about it. For 100 years now, 
Every so often, when the clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and a full moon rises. At the moment, monsters that had been previously defeated will come back to life. Whoa. And that's what it's known as the blood moon. Why do the monsters return to life? Well, why does it only happen even uh, when the sky is red? No one really knows the answer to those questions. It's a mysterious phenomenon. Huh. If you learn anything about the blood moon as you travel, be sure to come back and tell me. I will keep that in mind. <gasps> oh my god. Guys, there's horses. What in the world? We've got horses. Okay, hold on. Ooh, look at that little zebra looking horse. That's a pretty one. That's a pretty one. That's a really pretty one right there. We're gonna grab this horse. I still don't know how to do this properly. Ancient gear, a gear used in ancient machinery, despite it being incredibly old, it's built quality and leaps is leaps and bounds above anything built using current technology. so sorry come back here i didn't know you wanted to be soothed so badly you do not need to be alarmed how could you do this to me how could you do this to me link get up link link get up i cannot believe it i literally cannot believe this thing right now will you That's what you get. I can't believe this thing, man. The Octo Balloon. <laughs> Soothe it. Soothe it. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Whoa. My gosh. Look at the scenery right now. Talk about the vibes. Oh my god, he's holding it by the mane. Oh, dude. It's okay, buddy. You're gonna be my best pal. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is it. This changes the game. Oh, this is so cool. So, can we jump? I don't want to jump and then kind of lose the horse. I don't know if we'll jump off the horse. But I'm going back to the stable. And we're going to go ahead here and register this beautiful horse. Oh, my gosh. Now. Now we're talking. Perfect. Oh, what happened to its hair? <laughs> Maybe I pulled it a little bit too much. Hello. Hold on. No, that's not what I wanted to talk about. Here we go. Welcome to the stable. I haven't seen your face before. Didn't we just speak earlier? All right, so I don't know about the stable system. Let me explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our na uh, network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. One person can board up to five horses and you'll be able to swap horses in and out as you please. Do you know how to catch a horse? I know how. Oh, pardon me. Let me start hey. over. Welcome to our stable. We've come... With a wild horse, you can register it here with us. 
Or if you want to stay for a rest, I think we can register the horse. Gotcha. Ooh. Look at the bond. 18. Stamina, speed, and strength. It's wild. Yes. Not a problem. We charge a registration fee to help support our conservation efforts. The fee also gets you a locally made saddle and a uh, brittle for your horse. This fee is 20 rupees. Perfect. Please enter a name for your horse. God, I'm terrible with names. Well, I'll call him Lucky. Let's go with Lucky. Ah. You know why? Because he's our first horse. Yes. The registration is complete. Would you like to take your new horse with you? Of course ah. I would. Thank you. Well, we'll see you next time, Oh, And by the way, if you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it'll come running. But your horse isn't magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind. Really. Whoa! Look at the saddle! Man, this is awesome! I... Guys, I'm in love with this. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Wow, this is awesome. Calm it down there. No need to get rattled. Nope. It's not what I wanted to do at all. Wait, can I actually hit that? Oh. <laughs> well, there's that. All right, sweet. Perfect. Well, things are looking pretty good. This is so cool. All right, so let's just get a little closer over there. Hello. All right, so we've got the fork on the road. And I think right is going to be the other way. But we are not headed right. We are headed straight. And that is north. Because east would be... Huh? What's going on? I think east is the other place. Kakariko Bridge. All right, so we are... We're definitely on the right path. some sort of noise or could that just be crickets might just be crickets oh, I don't think I've grabbed these before what is this the Hyrule herbs yes we have let's go lucky I really don't know what that noise is I'm just gonna pretend like it's crickets Horse is a little. It's a, it's, a, it's a little hard to. Oh, who's this? You can tell it's wild. Hello. Shalaka. You. You can see me. Of course, I can see you. Shalaza! Shalaka? I don't know what song that is, but it's definitely not my cup of tea. It's been 100 years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. Really? I think they're still there on the other side of those rocks. I cannot use my powers without them. So please... Please get my maracas back from them. You know what? 
priceless maracas. You know what? I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna help him out. Right now. Right now, we're gonna get this little bomb. <gasps> oh, I don't play Nintendo Switch very often. And apparently, I mixed up the controls. Oh my God. <gasps> what have I done? <gasps> what have I done? What have I done? Help! Take that! Take that! Now it's my turn. Okay, my weapon just broke. Hold on. We are in need of... of help here. We have an emergency. With the spear. Get them from afar. That's right. Stay away, demons. Okay, we've got one more here. Ooh! He's got a spear-like weapon as well. I am here for the maracas! Alright, I'm assuming the maracas are inside the chest. Perfect. Look at us go. Look at Link here saving the day. Hestus Maracas. He's been shaking them since he was two years old. How cute. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. Alright, man. I've got your Maracas. Those are, those are my maracas. Please give them to me. <laughs> but wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now? If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion, so let me know if you find... <gasps> No, wait. Dude, I've got all the seeds you need right now. Let's go. The children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved maracas. I never thought I'd be a target of one of their pranks. But wait. Do you have a Korok seed? You do! You got a Korok seed from one of those forest children. If you give me just one of the seeds, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Yes, please. Shalaka. So, which stash do you want more slots in? Hmm. I think, uh, weapons stash for real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's party time. Hiya! And just like that, we've got more. Sweet! Dun, 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 dun. Your weapon stash has been expanded. I still smell Korok seeds on you. The bow stash, the shield stash. I'll do one more for the weapon. Oh, he needs two now. <gasps> oh, gosh. Okay, well, that's fine. Wow. Man, this is really cool. I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me. Sorry, I have to go, but I still need Korok seeds, so bring some to the Korok Forest if you find any. The priceless maracas. Definitely priceless. So. Good. Damn, the shields are pretty bad. <laughs> Alright, let's get back on our mount. And, uh... Hey, dude, why are you, like, going all over the place? You're supposed to listen to me. Yeah, this thing is wild. Yeah. 
very wild. Yeah, so soothe it when it does what I want it to do. If not, it's never gonna learn. Keep going here, guys. Let's see if we can finally get to this village. And there's a shrine nearby. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Come on. Ooh. Good. Kakariko Village. Guys, I think we're here. Finally. <laughs> Whoa. So many people here. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's speak to this woman here. Or Nana. Okay. Traveler! I'm sorry, but I'm But I seem to have twisted my ankle. Hmm, let's see here. That's so random. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Stay, uh, say, traveler. Where did you get that object hanging from your waist? Oh, I didn't see the selections. My gosh. Yes, I see. The Shiga Slate is a symbol. It means you are a hero of legend. Though there are a few who know of such legends anymore. But we, Shika. I've been waiting for you for a very long time. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet with our leader, Lady Inpa. Where is she? Okay. She's at the house below Lantern Falls, just over there. In any case, it was a real honor to meet you, hey? I suppose you're used to that, having lived as long as you have. <laughs> I'm a living legend, what can I say? Probably shouldn't travel here with my horse, but you know what? That's fine. Good little horse. Hey, 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 hey. This horse is a little bit... Uh, it's true what they said. They're not easy to, easily uh, maneuverable, if you will. They're a bit more wild, but I guess I'm willing to... To experience the uh, wild side of these sorts of horses as the payoff should be better. Huh? Whoa! Have no fear! Link is here! Can I... You there! Who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impala's abode? Oh, uh, Impala's, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that... Is that a Sheikah Slate? But that would mean you are... No, it's not possible. Can it be? Yes. <laughs> I am a legend. Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course, we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. Hmm, can we take these apples? What if we give an apple here? Let me see. Do we have an apple to give? We do. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that actually did something. You found me! And we've got another seed. Bye-bye! <laughs> Alright, guys. We're finally here. Hello. A man? <laughs> huh? Is that... It's... It's a Sheikah Slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Lin... Lin... Um... Oh... It's Link. Come on! It's not that I forget. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, uh, my name is Pop... Pop... Pay. Oh, my name is P Papaya. Paya. Papaya. Phew. I got it out. I know I should be uh, able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all, but I'm, s I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been waiting for your return ever since I was little. P -p -p Please hurry inside. Let me just make sure there's nothing here. Like a chest or something. This is just my video game conscious playing with me right now. Link, do not even, do not even. We cannot afford to fall off right now. Excuse me. So, 
you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Oh. What's the matter? You're looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiar familiarity. <laughs> I'm terrible with the words. I'm sorry, okay? It is I, courageous one. Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. I don't know what... <gasps> what game this is after. The last one that I really played for real was Ocarina of Time, so... Yeah. I see. So you have lost your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. A hundred years ago. Yes, one hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed after you fell. Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda... Zelda, excuse me, went to nobly uh, meet her fate. She entrusted me with, a soul, uh, with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting 100 years to deliver the princess's message. Oh. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you will, uh, excuse me, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. What? Examine. Paya's diary. This looks like Paya's diary. It seems she's the only one who started writing in it. Grandmother says she's uh, conspired with Princess Zelda and Auntie Pura 100 years ago. They decided to put a loan swordsmen into a long sleep as to prepare for a time that was uh, foretold in legends the name of that swordsman is link since then grandmother has been waiting for him to reappear after all this time i too will pray that he awakens soon for the sake of hyrule and for the grandmother's sake as well man i'm kind of like a big deal around here what's going on all right let's talk to her again after i read this here the Journal of Various Worries. Journal of Various Worries says, Well, my wife left me today. The last thing she said to me was, What's more important? The Kukos or me? I chose the <laughs> The Bowmaster. The next page. A painter unfamiliar to any of us has arrived in the village. He claims he is searching for the Great Fairy's Fountain, but that's near where the village spirit protector resides. We must make sure the outsider doesn't learn of the location of the fountain or the two shrines near it. Anonymous father of two. The new guy in town looks like he really knows how to tune a bow. I hope he comes by and, no and uh, knocks an arrow for me. It's been way too long. Day in, day out, I'm outside barking people into the stop. I don't mind, really. It's good money. Did that say into the stop or into the shop? And busying myself helps uh, to numb the pain. But the only thing that really helps me feel better is walking among the fireflies. Unfortunately, we've now been asked not to walk around at night because it's dangerous. I don't know how I can cope without the fireflies. There is a precious heirloom that has been passed down through my family for generations. Recently, I've begun to hear voices telling me that the heirloom was an important destiny. It's going to happen soon. It makes me nervous, but I can feel it in my bones. Okay. I think we've already read that. Well, let's speak to her again. The words that the prince has risked her life to impart to you, I cannot pass them onto someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared? <laughs> huh. Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened.
The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Okay, that's a long time ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons mm. called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Uh-oh. That's not good. Upon Ganon's inevitable <laughs> return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. I presume that's us? The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Why does Ganon keep coming back? <laughs> oh. 100 years ago. In preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beasts! That is what she said. Really? Four divine beasts? Yes, they are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast Va Rudania, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. The divine beast of Va Mido, sorry for the pronunciation here, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. The divine beast of Va Ruda, controlled by Mipa of the Zora. And the divine beast Va Naboris, controlled by Urbosa of the Gerudo. Yeah. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beast to help you. You must infiltrate the Divine Beasts that were stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these Divine Beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Oh gosh. Well, there, there they are. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet each leader there. Free the divine beasts. It seems to me that our Sheikah, or the your Sheikah slate, is not yet complete. 
The dev uh, device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in the Hateno village might be able to help you. That's the other village the guy at the stable was talking about, and that is excessively far. The location shining on the eastern edge of the map is the Hateno village. It is a small village, one of the very few places that uh, avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. Locked mementos. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Seek out Impa complete. Wow. Hello. <laughs> M Master Link. Oh, wh whatever is the matter at this hour? Dark magic preys upon the land when darkness falls. Please promise to take care. I, I promise I'll take care. Okay. Ooh. Man, this game is actually pretty incredible. I, I, I'm not even going to lie. This is incredible right now. And it's raining. And that's beautiful. Just going to go ahead and snatch these apples. Don't mind if I do. All right. So tell you what, guys. I have been playing for about four hours. Believe it or not. Four hours. And this is only possible if I do this video with no face cam. Because my face cam will literally fry to death if I if, if I just sit here non-stop recording. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see how this video does. And if it does well, you guys would like to see a full series prior to the release of the new Zelda game, Tears of the Kingdom. Then we'll make it a series. But overall, I really wanted to give it a try. That's why I played it for so long to see what it's all about. And I do have to say, it's pretty incredible. Like, I see now... I mean, Oc Ocarina of Time, for me, was one of the best games as a child. And the magic is still here. This is absolutely insane. And I can only imagine what the future can hold for the story of this game. But I hope you guys enjoyed again. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're still watching, I really appreciate it. And uh, if you enjoyed this episode, drop it a like. That would help. Anyways, thanks again, guys. I'll catch you later.